you must know that wealth cannot emerge out of the void, nor will it disappear for no reason. Wealth can only be transferred. In the history of mankind, wealth has never stopped being transferred, even for a moment. From barter to blockchain, from shells to cryptocurrencies, the world of wealth and the way we transfer wealth has never stopped changing. For example, inflation is the largest transfer of wealth in the world. It does not reduce the amount of money in anyone's hands, but it does allow a shift in our wealth to occur. Because what it deprives us of is not the amount of money in your hands. What it does is transfer its value. So what is inflation? Let's imagine a country with 100,000 people. Each person in that country has $10, and the entire country has a total of $1 million. We assume that the country has 1 million items, and the price of each item is $1. Everyone can use their $10 to buy 10 items, and the whole country is in a very fair state. Let's assume that at this time, the country suddenly issued another $1 million to the market. So now the entire country has 2 million. In the case where the number of commodities owned by this country is constant, the price of each corresponding commodity becomes $2. This is what we call inflation. And that is under the condition that the total amount of commodities remains unchanged. This additional issuance has led to an increase in commodity prices. The issuance of more money is used to balance the increase in the total value of the economy and stabilize the value of currency trades. When this behavior is improperly applied, it will lead to the depreciation of the currency. We often see the news that legal tender go through serious depreciation in countries and the cash in the hands of the nationals becomes waste paper. It's caused by the abnormal issuance of the currencies. Therefore, in a centralized world, no currency is worthy of our full trust. If there is no currency in the world that deserves our full trust, then we can simply create one. The success Bitcoin has had in building trust has led us to believe that cryptocurrency will be a good choice. However, to make a cryptocurrency a real currency, you must increase the stability of that currency. In order to improve the stability of the currency, it is necessary to increase the market value of that currency. In order to increase that market value, there must be a large influx of cash flows. In order to have that large influx of cash flows, it's necessary to solve the problem of legal tender channels for the cryptocurrency. With these funding channels, the cryptocurrency can continuously extract the supply of cash flow from legal tender channels, allowing the cryptocurrency to gain a higher value from cash flows supplied by global legal tenders. Analyzing the nature of cryptocurrency from a financial perspective, it is actually an independent economic entity. In today's game between decentralized and centralized finance, building a channel that allows cryptocurrencies to continuously capture the cash flow of global legal tenders has become a key to global decentralized financial success. We need a superconductor for cryptocurrency. A superconductor is any matter whose resistance reaches zero at a certain temperature. Inspired by this, the VDS cryptocurrency superconduction program was born. With its design, conceived by VDS financial experts and product masters, the cryptocurrency to legal tender exchange channels are completely dispersed, eliminating the resistance of centralized finance. This is the cryptocurrency superconducting network built by us. In VDS, each VID can create its own OTC exchange through a distributed anonymous private social group. The group owner can choose any currency, yes, any currency, as the settlement currency for all the trades.
and all the trades are peer-to-peer. -peer. For example, we can go into one group and use currency from some bank account in some country to buy Volder. And when the trade is successful, we can sell Volder in another group in exchange for some other country's currency and put it into some other country's bank account. We can set up any bank account to pay with or receive the corresponding legal tenders. The whole process of exchanging legal tender peer-to-peer -peer is completely different than those of centralized exchanges, where trades face risk, friction, funds being frozen, hacked, payment delays, or any other kind of third-party intervention. We also don't have to worry about the risks of the trade process, because we will use a smart contract function to put Voller into escrow during the trade. When the trade is carried out, the smart contract will automatically transfer the escrowed Voller to the corresponding receiving address to complete the trade. We also don't have to worry about any malicious behavior in the trade process, because the owner of the OTC group will arbitrate to ensure fair trades. If we use VDS Distributed Superconducting Financial Ecology to create our own OTC exchange, everyone can realize the free management of currency in a decentralized state. Of course, major exchanges can also use VDS as a channel for legal tender recharge and withdrawal. Be aware that as an exchange, to survive in today's cryptocurrency market, they have to face many problems and risks. For example, the delays, restrictions, and freezing of centrally controlled legal tender channels, mass hackings, the lack of an accurate user group. But you can solve these problems and risks through the VDS Distributed Superconducting Financial Ecology. You don't have to go through any third party to safely connect with your legal tender channels from all the countries and carry out business in every corner of the globe. It's a direct deal between the buyer and the seller, carried out according to the rules set by your group administrator. Okay, let's start the demo, letting you quickly master the operating skills needed to use the VDS Distributed Superconducting Financial Equality and access VDS Wealth as soon as possible. Let's open the VDS Wallet app. Click on the VID icon at the bottom of the interface enter our VID homepage. Then we click on VID details. Go to the VID details page, then click the menu in the top right corner and we can see that there is a option to create a group. Special attention should be paid here. Only once the 12 VIDs on the first level in the trust stamp system are filled can the create group function be enabled. This is a prerequisite for opening the VDS superconducting financial ecosystem because if we can't create a group, we have no way to open the OTC trading function. Let's click on create group. Now select the contacts that we want to add into the group from the contacts page. Click OK, and then we enter the group settings interface. Enter our group name, edit group announcements, and group rules in the group settings interface. And if we want to create a group with entry fees, we can set a Voller group entry fee. In this way, if other people want to apply for the group, they must pay Voller first, and then the group owner can agree if they join the group or not. A group has an initial maximum capacity of 1,000 members. If you pay an expansion fee, you can increase the max limit of the group as you wish. Just click Upgrade Group from the Group Management page and enter the Upgrade page. And here you can see the current group limit, the new limit after expansion. Now, we can expand the group number according to our own needs at any time. For each additional person, we need to pay 0.01 Voller. The more we want to expand the group, the more Voller that needs to be paid. Okay, let's try this out. You choose to expand it by a thousand people. So we pay 10 Voller and a small amount of miners fees. Click upgrade. And now we have a group with a maximum of 2000 people. Below 
I'm going to focus on the OTC function for the groups. You need to pay attention to it because this is the key to the distributed superconducting financial ecology. If we want to turn on the OTC function in the group, we need to meet another requirement. That is, our VID has to have entered the Trust Stamp Network Fission Top 100 in at least one game. And only with this condition can we unlock OTC features. And we can click on the Top 100 option to see if you have entered the Top 100. Okay, now let's turn on the OTC function. So first, click Group Management in the Group Settings interface to enter the Group Management interface. Now the first time you enter, it will show that a, the OTC function has not been enabled and we can click it to open it immediately and enter the new group settings interface. And okay, there, there are two things that we need to edit. The first one is the buy, sell, order handlers fee. Now this system defaults to 0.5%. Now this item can be modified and like this, we can charge a 0.5% commission as a return on the trade management for any buy or sell order in the group. The second is the trade currency. And we can choose any currency here. It should be noted that each group can only set one trade currency and it cannot be changed. But once it is determined, all OTC trades in our group can only be connected to this currency. So we can choose Canadian dollar as the currency of the OTC trades for this group. Click open and congratulations, you have enabled the group OTC function. Whether we want to buy or sell Volar, we must create or join a group that has the group OTC function enabled and that trades corresponding to our currency. In the group's session details interface, click on the horizontal bar at the top to enter the group's market display interface. Where this is where all the OTC trades in the group will be displayed. Okay, if we want to buy a lot of Voller, we can create an intention to buy Voller in the order interface, fill in our intention to buy order information, and click confirm. We can also select an OTC order in the market interface. Click on the quote to enter the details. Now this will show the total number of trades that the seller has made. Of course, the more trades, the higher the integrity of the seller. And we can trade with this seller uh, more confidently. Okay, we click buy to make the purchase. Check the trade information in the purchase details page and click okay. Now you enter the trade negotiation table with the seller. And for the next part, just follow the steps in the system to perform the operation. Okay, the system will automatically send a message to the seller, prompting the seller to put Voller into the OTC trade escrow smart contract. At this point, we need to pay the agreed currency amount to the receiving address provided by the seller and then click paid on the negotiation table. Then we wait for the other party to confirm. After the seller receives the payment, they click received to confirm. Okay, now we've completed the trade. If we want to sell Voller, we can create an intention to sell Voller or find a suitable intention to buy order on the market and make the trade. The process is the same. If the other party has any malicious behavior, we can apply to the group owner for arbitration. We only need to save the relevant evidence, then click on apply for arbitration in the negotiation table, and then provide the relevant evidence to the administrator, waiting for the group admin to arbitrate. Now, as the arbitrator, the group admin will receive the arbitration application message, and the group owner needs to arbitrate according to the evidence. If the evidence is sufficient, the group owner has the right to hand over the voler in the contract to the buyer and complete the trade. If the evidence is false, the owner also has the right to terminate the trade and return the escrowed voler 
in the contract to the seller. The group owner will certainly make the first arbitration. If he makes irresponsible arbitrations, his credibility will have a very big impact and no one will continue to make trades in his group in the future. This will seriously affect the administrator's interests. In addition, each owner who has the right to open the OTC had to become the top 100 of a season, which means he or she paid a very large startup cost. So please rest assured that the group admin will make a fair arbitration. The design of VDS is perfect. The distributed superconducting network constructed by it is the perfect financial ecology to help everyone in any position. It's like a bridge linking all the wealth in the world and enabling businesses globally to run in the fastest, safest, and most just environment. Not only that, the dual wallet design enabled by VDS is compatible with both Voller and Bitcoin cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin can also regain privacy and freedom through VDS's resonant trade and anonymous trade with VDS's distributed superconducting financial ecosystem. I believe that this is the long-cherished ambition of all Bitcoin believers, and this is also a tribute from us to the spirit of Nakamoto.